This is a laser engraving machine with a very unique design. Normally you would expect something like this, a laser head on a rectangular frame moving in the X and Y axis. We have the X axis here, but where's the Y axis you may wonder. The machine itself is the Y axis. Yes, with the help of these rollers underneath, the laser can move across any flat surface. This is the Spider X1 laser by Tywalk Lasers. You can use this laser to engrave on large items such as this wooden plank which is 5 feet long. Coming up next in this video, we will see its unboxing and setup, features and capabilities, we'll test it and show you some cool items I made using it, discuss some of its pros and cons, and lastly help you with deciding if you need one for your workshop. So let's get started. The laser arrived in this huge box with all contents inside safely packaged. In the box you get the laser along with some user manuals, a power adapter, USB cables and a pair of safety goggles. There are optional accessories such as an air assist pump, a line drawing tool, frame expansion kits and a magnetic steel base. The assembly is fairly simple with clear instructions in the user manual. You simply have to slide the laser head on the mount plate and tighten it using these latches. Connect the wire and the pipe for air assist. Attach the Wi-Fi antenna and the assembly is done. That's it. The machine features a laser head with an optical power of 20 watts, which is decent power for a desktop laser. It travels 400 mm in X axis and infinitely in the Y axis. The design is quite compact with all electronics neatly fitted inside these metal enclosures on both ends. On the right side you get a touchscreen display to control the machine along with an SD card slot, USB port and power input. A drag chain on the X axis makes cable management super neat and the black color gives a more professional look. Overall the build quality seems pretty solid with good quality materials and an aesthetic design. A toolkit is also provided which has all necessary tools you'd require. The machine has a footprint of just 70 by 14 cm, making it much easier for storage when not in use, which is so nice for an occasional hobbyist like me who doesn't want to dedicate an entire desk for the laser. Speaking of desks, they have also provided a steel plate base with magnetic razors to save your desk from being burned by the laser. All of this for a very affordable price. Now let's fire up the laser to see what it's capable of. Simply plug in the power adapter and you're good to go. The laser performs a homing and is ready to use on standby. Place the material you want to cut or engrave under the laser head. Adjust the height so that the head can move freely. Set the focal length and you're good to go. You can use the USB cable provided to connect to your PC or laptop to send the files to the laser. I tried using the Wi-Fi feature but it was always giving me an error. So I decided to stick to USB. You will need a Gerbil software to prepare and send jobs to the laser, like Laser Gerbil or Lightburn. Once you create a job on the software, you can send it to the laser via USB or copy it on the SD card provided. Before running the job, there is an option called Frame, which runs a boundary of the job so that you can adjust the material for proper engraving. Always remember to wear proper safety equipment while operating the laser and operate it in a well-ventilated area. To begin with, I did some tests on this 3mm thick MDF sheet to test the cutting speed and power of the laser. Here are the results from the cutting test. The laser was able to cut the MDF sheet in a single pass at 80% power, which is impressive. Next I tested the laser for engraving and it can give good results at remarkable speeds. I attached the air assist pump and here are the results. For engraving jobs, the laser works best without the air assist and for cutting jobs, the laser gives neater and faster cuts with the air assist on. I then made some cool items using the laser, like this F-14 fighter jet cutout. My childhood picture engraved beautifully on this piece of wood, engraved on this card holder, both on leather and on steel. Made a wall art frame with a coat. This beautiful yin yang tree, a 3D layered art, poster for my mug, this keychain, 
and finally made this cool LED sign using the pen tool included with the laser on a transparent acrylic sheet. The x-axis can be extended even further but I did not do so as I didn't have enough space in my workshop nor I had a large enough piece of material. Now let's discuss some pros and cons of the laser which will help you with deciding whether you should have this piece of equipment in your workshop or not. Some of its pros are it has a unique design with an infinite y-axis. It looks sturdy and has a premium finish. Low footprint. It is easy for storage when not in use. The powerful laser head is able to cut 3-5mm to 5 mm materials and is very fast at engraving. Option for air assist which further improves the engraving quality. And finally, it is budget friendly compared to other brands. Some of its cons are. It cannot cut clear materials such as acrylic as the laser is optical. And there are a few minor software glitches such as the Wi-Fi was not working but I hope that it can be fixed with an update. Now the final verdict is, I would totally recommend this laser if someone is looking to get into laser engraving as a hobby or wants to start a business. That's all for today and I'll see you guys in the next one.